Hello, Lam Lonites. This is N this Ozma, not NB. Why do I keep wanting to say NB? It's just the feeling of nostalgia that's driving me back to this. Anyway, uh, I have a plan of action today. Basically, I'm gonna go get this first sub weapon, the Shuriken, through a very simple puzzle that I will definitely do once I stop getting knocked over the edge of platforms. Take that, you dumb skelly. Get that. Anyway, this this puzzle, or rather non oh, okay. Totally forgot about that. This puzzle isn't actually a puzzle. Um, basically, if you talk to this guy's like, I guess that those who have courage can obtain weapons, but if I jump into these spikes, I'll die. But he's dumb, because if you jump into the spikes, it does absolutely nothing. It's an illusion. Drop one of my weights that I farmed over there, and now I got the shuriken. Zelpud has something to say about that. I don't need Zelpud's help right now. Kill whatever the hell these things are. You know, I, uh, I had no idea what they were when I first played La Mulana in the original graphics. And now that they upgraded the graphics, I still have no idea what those are. Anyway, next uh, thing on the list is the Grail. Need the Grail for the teleporties. Makes things a lot easier. And I think that it was this way. Those things are like lions with really weird spider bodies. Okay, so this puzzle is kind of confusing at first if you don't know what you're doing. Basically, you talk to this skeleton and says, I found an escape route. These ruins seem to be connected in a very mysterious fashion. Which is to say that this is a non-linear passage. It actually doubles back onto itself. You can actually walk through here and back. If I had the map, I'd show you that I basically just traveled across the entire passageway. And if I were to continue right, I would eventually come back on that same passage. Kinda hard to explain without actually doing it. But anyway, uh, now that I put that weight on that little pressure switch, I can uh, hopefully jump across here with all these weird gel monsters. Ow, maybe not. Oh well, at least I get to open this pot right here for some coins. But yeah, I, uh, oh, I have enough for the glyph reader now. I'll go get that next. Ah! And this is why La Mulana became notorious. This and some of the more ridiculous puzzles. Let's just try and hurry. Uh, yeah, I made it. Okay, anything in here? I forget. Yeah, some more coins. Good. The remake is a lot more generous with the coins. So now that I have the Grail, Zelpud will have something to say about that. Let's go ahead and clear out the mail. And now whenever I pause, I can use the Grail to return to any of the Grail points that I have read properly. And when I say properly, I mean with the Glyph Reader. So let's go get the Glyph Reader. Very useful. Very good. Oh, nothing in there. I was hoping I'd have enough for maybe something else. I don't have enough for the freaking map. I really want the map thing. Not that I really need it that much, but it might, it might be nice. So let's install the Glyph Reader to our lovely, lovely computer, and that will auto-translate all of the glyphs in La Mulana. Hooray. Now I gotta go back into La Mulana. Get a guidance. Ow, ow. Ah, oh, free weight, too. Oh, well, whatever. I have nine. I had a little bit of farming, because I just didn't want to farm them on the actual video. You don't actually take damage from long falls, unless you land on spikes or something. You just get a little bit of a stun. Alrighty. Back to this ladder. Now that I have the Glyph Reader installed, this... There you go, it translated. And also became one of the areas in which I can 
teleport to. As you can see here. Now, my next thing on my list is... You know, I'm gonna go get the knife. That chest you won't be able to open for a while, so don't even bother. Not yet. I can't wait until I encounter a puzzle that is not like the original game and I become completely confused. Let's kill these guys while I'm here. So it takes 12 shurikens. Come on. There we go. So what that does, if I remember correctly, is it drops the stone here, yeah. Which is needed for opening the passage to the boss room. For this area. Ow. Let's go ahead and push these. Might as well while I'm here. Freaking love this soundtrack, man. I don't know what it is about it. But it's great. Alright. So now that I have those two stones there, I can finally push this one all the way across to the pressure plate. And there we go. That makes the pedestal appear. Put a weight on that one. And there you go, there's the boss chamber. However, fighting the boss isn't as simple as unlocking the chamber. You also need to make the Ankh pedestal appear. I'm not actually sure if that's what it's called. But you also need the Ankh jewel. So basically, it's it's three puzzles. Okay. What did that do? Nothing. Oh. Okay. Now, I believe that this is the way to the Temple of the Sun. Let's see if there's anything in this pod. you say anything? No? Okay. Praise the sun. The main reason I got the Grail is because if you come here without it, then you're gonna have a hard time coming back out. Take that, cat ball. So now I have this as a warp point, too. Wonderful. Can't jump back up because I'm not fast enough. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd take this moment to give a shout out to Deceased Crab. Um, the reason I found out this game about this game is because of him, and he is one of the first Elk peers that I actually watched a whole lot of. Um, I mean, the main reason I got into doing Let's Plays is because of Super Meat Boy and the mild success that I've had with my videos with that. But, uh, what really got me into watching Let's Plays was Deceased Crab. Ow. Anyway, you break this pot with your shurikens. You need the shurikens for this. Once that happens, the wall lets you come through. And you walk all the way down here, you put a weight on the pedestal, and you press this pressure switch, and voila! There's the knife. Now, the knife has shorter range, but it is a faster and stronger weapon than the whip. Let's go get it. Knife! And, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna... Shut up, Zilfin. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Actually, let's... let's... Oh, I don't have enough for the freaking map reader, okay. And I'm just gonna end the video here. Uh, give me that knife. And uh, thanks for watching. And next video, I will. I don't know, I'll do more of the Gated Giants, I guess. Thanks for watching!